Today, I'm going to teach you one more lens that journalists look through as they edit. They listen for the relationship between verb tense and voice. For instance, they decide when to use present or past and active or passive tenses to move back and forth between an on-the-edge-of-your-seat storytelling voice and a more formal, objective voice. When authors are writing in present tense, using their present tense voice, it's often more edgy and emotional. You're writing in the moment. When writers use their past tense voice, they tend to have more of a passive voice. Past tense voices tend to be more objective, less involved. So now I want to try this with our story. So writers reread their writing. They listen for moments when the tense is present or past, sometimes trying it out both ways and trying out the active and passive tense so that we can achieve the voice that we want for different parts of the story. So I'm going to reread just this passage. Last evening, a Holland teenager hopped off his bicycle at a store in downtown Holland. He darted on foot into an empty parking spot nearby. He waited there, waving would-be parkers away from the spot that he occupied with his body. So writers, first I reread the story without even really thinking how I wanted it to be read, but just naturally how it would be read. And it seemed like I was using a passive voice, a past tense voice. Wasn't necessarily too emotional, um, but it was objective. Now I'm going to intentionally read it another way. I want to read it this time with more emotion. Last evening, a Holland teenager hopped off his bicycle at a store in downtown Holland. He darted on foot into an empty parking spot nearby. He waited there, waving the would-be parkers away from the spot that he occupied with his body. Writers, do you see how I read this part of the story in two different ways? One was less objective and definitely showed a lot more emotion, but the first time I read it, it was more of an objective tone. So now I need to decide which way should the story be read, and does that change how I write the story? Do I add more words to fit how I want it to be read? I actually really like the first way that I read it. This was a past tense part of the story. I was explaining to the readers what the boy was doing, so it made sense that there wasn't a lot of emotion involved at this point. Now that I know that I want it read with an objective past tense voice, I need to go back and check my verbs and see if they were written in the past tense. When readers are reading my story, they will use how you write your verb tenses as clues on how they read. As I reread the story, I noticed that the verbs are written in past tense, darted, hopped, those are all things that had already happened instead of darting or hopping. So I think we're good with this part of the story. So let's try it with the next part of the story. Drivers became angry that this kid was taking up a valuable parking spot in downtown Holland. Now I'm going to read it again with more emotion. Drivers became angry that this kid was taking up a valuable parking spot in downtown Holland. So let's think about this again, writers. I read it two different ways with both a passive voice and then more of an emotional voice. I kind of like the second read this time. We're talking about how the drivers became angry, so it makes sense that it was read with more emotion. So now I want to look at my verb tenses. Because I want readers to read this with more emotion, I want my verbs to be present tense. So let's check. Instead of saying writers became angry, because that's written as past tense, I think I want to change this to say writers were becoming angry or are becoming angry. Now, when the story is read, readers will know to read with a present tense voice with more emotion. Drivers were becoming angry that this kid was taking up valuable parking space. 
Writers, let's think about what we did today. Writers are very intentional about how they're writing and how they want their writing to be read. Sometimes they attend to the verb tense and the voice. If you want your story to be read with more emotion and more of an edgy voice, then you might want to write in a present tense. Or if you want your voice to be objective, then you can write in a past tense. Now I want you to try this with your writing. Go back to the lesson platform for the next activity.